worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. Praise God. God bless you. This morning, we are turning our Bibles now to the book of Isaiah chapter 59. And, uh, and we are reading uh, verse 19 to, let's read down to verse 21 of Isaiah 59, reading from verse 19 to verse 21. And then the other two supporting scriptures, which are very well familiar, is found in John chapter 10 and verse 10, and Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. And for all of those who uh, are viewing this particular service, uh, we welcome you to our assembly here at Lateran Revival Center. And uh, we believe God that the Lord is able to raise up a standard in your life. And that's what we're talking about uh, this morning uh, in this service. Raising a godly standard. God is able to raise up a standard. And we read in Isaiah 59, verse 19 to 21. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, save the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, save the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, save the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Now, verse 21 tells us how you can keep the godly standard being lifted up. Verse 21 tells you that by making sure that that word don't leave out of your mouth. But that's not our emphasis this morning. We can preach that another time. Amen. That's a continuation, maybe in a series like this. But what we're going to be looking at this morning is the fact that God can and will raise a standard if we allow Him. And the emphasis this morning is that allowing God to raise His standard. God doesn't have a problem to raise a standard. God doesn't have a problem to move mightily. It is if the people of God will allow him to do it. And many a times, we get in the way with God and we block God from doing certain stuff in us and doing certain works in us because of maybe our doubts and fears and unbelief and our pressures and our situations and our uh, uh, and nightmares and because of all the stuff that we're faced with. And every one of us here this morning, we have something about our life that the enemy wants to come in. But I'm here this morning to also declare that the Spirit of the Lord wants to come in too. Hallelujah! And raise up a standard in the face of the devil. Hallelujah! Come on somebody. Sound the alarm! Hallelujah! When the enemy comes in like a flood, come on somebody, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. I say sound the alarm. Come on somebody. God is able to raise a standard against the enemy. The Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the enemy, my brothers and sisters. But this can only happen if we as God's people will allow the Holy Spirit, will allow God's Spirit to do it in our lives. If we were given freedom, if we were given access, if we would allow His ability that does not change to come true for us. God can do anything, even if the enemy of our faith comes against us. It does not matter how difficult or how bad a situation can get. Once God is allowed to come into it, He, God, has the power and the ability to turn any situation around. Surely the enemy, Satan, has power, but God is all-powerful. So once God, the Almighty, is allowed to come in to whatever the situation, He can turn it around for good. 
No wonder why we see in Romans 8, 28. For we know that all things work kept together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. In our text this morning, in Isaiah 59 and verse 19, there is a promise that is made about God lifting up a standard against the enemy. This promise, my brothers and sisters, was made to Israel, who was in a backslidden position, who was in a backslidden case. But they had repented from their sins. And on this basis of their confession and their turning from their sins, God said that even though the enemy has come in, Hallelujah. That God, He was able to lift up a standard against the enemy. And the lifting up a standard, there is a one, a, another translation that uses the lifting up a standard as that God as a raging flood tide. God as a raging flood tide will stand against the enemy. And let the enemy know it's time to back off. It's time to get out of the way. Because when God arrives, his enemies must be scattered. But the problem is, is to get God arise. Come on, somebody. It's not that God cannot scatter the enemies. It is that we must make sure that the life that we are living Ah, come on somebody. That the life we're living permits, allows the God who can scatter enemies to rise. And my brothers and sisters, none of us are any match to the enemy. None of us can handle the enemy. None of us can handle pressures or problems or situations by ourselves. No wonder why Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. But with me, come on somebody, you can do all things. Because with God, all things are possible. It's what we allow the God Almighty to do. If we sit down in our situations and in our problems and our difficulties... And we cry and we lament and we become sorrowful and pitiful for ourselves or we stay in a, a state of unforgiveness or bitterness of not resolving situation not talking to your brother and your sister where the word of God said if we have ought against a brother or sister that we will go to the brother or sister and make right but oftentimes we don't do our part. And the enemy keeps watching us. He keeps coming in. And you know what the word of God said in John chapter 10 and verse 10. That the thief comes but to kill, to steal and destroy. But Jesus has come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. So God wants... To raise up a standard, my brothers, for all of us against the enemy. But we must allow him. And remember what the word says in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. To be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to do what? To stand not just to stand, but stand against. Come on, somebody. Because God will raise up a standard against. Not in the absence of the enemy. No one the why Psalms 23 will declare that he prepares a table in the midst of my enemies. Oh, hallelujah. You are not my head with oil. I'm not running over. 